My chat's been wanting me to do a Kaboom Grenade only run for a while now. <laughs> this will probably be the most painful thing I ever do in this game. We'll do it. We'll do a Kaboom run. I don't think, uh... <laughs> I don't think Recon's really the one for this, but we'll we'll try it. We'll give it an honest effort. I should have never given it an honest effort. This was my first mistake. I'm gonna hate this so much. I, I don't even know how it works, bro. It doesn't even go to where you aim it. As you can see, the run was already off to a phenomenal start. How do you hit them? I had only used the Kaboom Grenades briefly before, deciding to never use them again. But here we were, helplessly flopping around like a sock stuck in the car window. This is really what you guys want me to do a run with. So one thing fun about the Kaboom Grenade is that they do not explode on impact with enemies. Can you not direct impact with it? <laughs> is that not a thing that's like allowed? Now, for anyone familiar with the game, you'll know that there are a bunch of flying enemies you'll come across. I lacked any and all ability to mentally prepare myself for the eldritch horror of a run this would become. Oh god, let me go find my higher rarity kaboom grenade in here. And I guess we have to do auto crit chance. This is so stupid. This is so unbelievably stupid. Okay, my spirits were down, but this was actually an incredible find for this weapon. Come on, no! Auto crit is king here, and at the time, I didn't realize how big of a deal this was. Nope. Taking top quality was a bad choice. Past me was so innocently blind to how this godforsaken weapon worked. This is terrible. For anyone curious, this weapon does not have an ammo type and does not benefit from magazine or reload effects. Look at its cute face. Yeah. It's cute, all right. Good old kaboom grenade run. On recon of all classes. We chose Recon on a whim, and the reason this is such a horrible pick is because there is little to no synergy between this class and the weapon. If we picked Commando, Engineer, or Elementalist, we could have at least had Baby Boom as a perk to give this thing a chance of exploding twice. We could even make a pretty strong Elemental build with it on NG and Elementalist. Man, it's just cooking them out here. We could have even gone Ranger for the invisibility and decoy aggro while we get buffed from Shadow Strike. I don't think it direct impacts either, does it? Wait, does it? It's just going through them. Oh god. This is tragic. Terrible or genius? No, it's terrible. No. I, there's not even room to joke here. This is pain. This is actually torture. I really actually probably should have made this a sub goal. If we don't get it done this time, I'm going to have my like first ever sub goal. I'm going to have it be like 25 subs and if we get it then we can do some more. We will we will go for a kaboom grenade only run because this is this is painful. We will do a sub goal for this if we don't get it this run though. Wow. This is just something else. We have black powder. Hang on, you said 25 subs before, it's 24 sub goal now. I said 25 gifted actually, Muntru. So, uh... We didn't even beat the canyons yeah, with an wanna, S rank. This was something I had not thought possible down, unless I had all skipped right. all the ads. <laughs> I know. Ugh. 
No, we'll... The run is going right now, so that's something right now. The run is still, like, going. We've made it to Oasis so far. Can't wait. What am I gonna do against Phase 1 Iris? Oh my god, no. I just realized... Am I... Is this even gonna be able to hit Phase 1 Iris? What if I get Catercoaster? Wait, it's it's Catercoaster or Judge Ball. How am I gonna beat either of those bosses with this? Or Uncle... Wait, yeah, I really don't know how I'm gonna win. I genuinely... Okay, we gotta think this out. Just look at this AoE super fast clear. True, yeah. I'm just swimming and swimming and ad clear right now, guys. Woo! This is this is what gives you dopamine. This is as viewers of my of the Hatterax Twitch channel. You guys are being filled with dopamine right now. From watching from watching this kaboom grenade run. This is what this is what gets you going. It's not too late to go to therapy and like seek the help that you very desperately need. Man, look at that elite. We're really uh, giving them the business with these kaboom grenades. Oh my god. This orange item better just be like hit scan kaboom grenade, easy. I, I'm going to need the scratch damage repairs. I, I, I definitely actually do need those. Should have gotten more grenades. Yeah, no. I definitely should not have gotten more grenades. Are you, are you doubting the demolition capabilities of the kaboom grenade you think they need help from from secondary grenade features ye of little faith three more oh my god this was at the end of a long stream, so my energy was already fading, and this certainly isn't the adrenaline pumping playstyle I normally adhere to when I play RoboQuest. But for the sake of masochism, I buckled up and really did give it an honest attempt. God, let's let's go to our loot cave to get a blue tear grenade. Oh, wishful thinking. What if if you get like a legendary kaboom grenade, it has like a very unique alt fire and special affix on it that just makes it insane. It, like it's like a semtex or something. Oh my god, dude, what is this? Just hit them! Just hit- why does it go through them? I would have accidentally died already. Yo! 35% chance to fragment into three projectiles. Bro, that does not look like a 35% chance, bro. Get that shit out of here. We got this. Okay, favorite weapon time.
Now this is a room where the kaboom grenade is like gonna unironically kill everything. I had to give it an honest attempt. You gave me your prime sub. And believe me, I can use it. <laughs> Sir, yeah, get lower to the ground. Lower to the ground. Wait, I can stun you and then now you're lowered up to the ground, please. There we go. First boss. Oh, this is actually a really good boss for this. For that, you'll throw in a YouTube sub as well. Thanks, Chief. Appreciate it. I, I just don't understand. Why does the grenade just go through them? Dr. Turret with Kaboom Grenade. Whoa. It's actually not doing bad. Emily. You just wait. It's a very bold claim you just made. So this run actually takes way longer than most of our other runs. Yeah, go figure, right? So for the sake of your sanity and my own, we're going to do a few cuts. What am I doing here? Sure. We'll see what Ninja Reload looks like with a fucking Kaboom Grenade. It does nothing. I just gotta throw it high enough so it blows up in midair. No way. Is that the strat we're gonna have to employ for the flying bosses? This is just the dumbest run I've ever done, and probably will ever do. I, I This makes me really look forward to my shovel run. It can't be half as bad as this. As you can see, this is just a train wreck. It's the first flying goliath we run into, and we are barely able to hit it. This thing also flies really low to the ground, by the way, so I could only imagine the pain I would go through with the other flying bosses. Lob the nades in his butt. Okay, I'll work on that. Sage, ad sage advice, thank you very much. Bro, oh my god. Still gotta go to this little loot cave over here, see if we can snag a purple one of these bad boys. We're doing all of this just to get absolutely annihilated by Iris phase two, if we can even get past phase one. I don't think we stand a chance against phase two with this, if I'm being honest. Unless we can wear her out and get her to fall on the ground, that's probably like the only time we're ever gonna be able to actually land hits. Oh God, that was close. Good old true shot coming in hot. Finally, something in Recon's kit that actually makes the grenade itself better. True Shot would help us out quite a bit, honestly, and it also did some really funny stuff. What am I doing with my life, dude? Like, why did I, why did I agree to this? What is going on? What is happening right now? Is this my punishment for doing this? Oh, 
as if this as if the process of playing this with only kaboom grenades wasn't punishment enough what is happening you know what it is if it's my true shot sometimes if i get true shot the kaboom grenades effect is just in my eyeballs <laughs> Jesus Christ. Now, for you beautiful viewers at home, this may seem like a rather unappealing effect to have on your screen, but I assure you, the brightness of this flashbang projecting out of my monitor and into my retinas filled me with energy. True gamers don't run and hide from the blue light radiating from their screens. They harness it and turn it into energy that fuels Kaboom Grenade only runs. We think that's faster? We had a revelation. Fire rate does affect the Kaboom Grenade, unlike every other stat in the game. This was a big deal for us. I think it still looks the same. I think it's a little faster. I do think I do think it is a little faster. I don't know. Maybe I'm just placeboing myself though. I think I would rather spend a year doing nothing but learning how to properly use Blender from a YouTube tutorial guide that has like a 500 episode series long playlist on how to use Blender than ever do a Kaboom Grenade build again. Thank you so much for the follow, Devils. After a long journey, we were finally approaching the Energy Labs boss. It either had to be Catacoaster or Judge Ball, and both options seemed borderline impossible with this weapon. I was certain I was going to lose the run here. Oh my god, I'm so scared for this boss. I'm, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do here. This is where the run falls apart. I genuinely have no idea how I'm gonna damage him. Do I just keep throwing him in the air and hope they land on him on the way down? We're hitting him. We are hitting him. Let's gotta keep throwing him at the walls here. I had no idea how I was gonna kill it before it killed me. This was pain. Then we noticed something that would give us the faintest glimmer of hope. Ooh, honestly, the acid's raised so far up by now that I can actually belly like, bounce it off the acid. This might be where the run ends, though. This is way harder than it looks. And I think it probably looks very hard. Now it was just a race. This fight's difficulty was cranked up as high as it could be at this point. There were wall-mounted turrets firing at me, a bunch of homing missiles tracking me. The acid would hurt me and Catacoaster could crash through me. I had to avoid all this while damaging him. It was a desperate race to see whose health pool would drop first.
Oh my god. <laughs> this is this is awful. <laughs> what am I gonna do against like Uncle Jim? Or I guess Uncle Jim, I can just throw it against the wall above him. But dude, if we get Beetle Royale, it's over. You have no idea the demons I have to suppress in order to resist the temptations to grab this kunai. True shot bonus against... That actually could be pretty good here. We made it to Haven, a location notoriously known as a brisk level. The map is very open and vertical. You can visit multiple hub zones for loot, and you can take it at your own pace, deciding which fights you can and can't take at that moment. You're given plenty of freedom here, which makes it my favorite area in the game. But yeah, that true shot upgrade that gives us 250% increased damage to goliaths and bosses was putting in work. It's a mandatory pick here, honestly. Come on. I wonder, can I just do this? Oh my god, we found the strat. Oh, ho, ho, ho. yeah. Woo! Relentless pursuit. Let's see if let's see if this makes a difference. Oh yeah, fire rate is definitely a factor with these things. Fire rate is king. What do we title it? This is the dumbest thing I've ever done in my entire life. I've never seriously considered therapy until now. We were brainstorming ideas for clickbait titles for this video. Will Emily cook up the title? I think I'll pass. I. Uh, uh, I might pass on that one. This is my favorite part of the whole run. It's just, I, that's how I, I just think that the devs, like, they never expected anyone to attempt this. And I think that visual bug is proof of it. Like that right there, whatever's happening right now, I don't think they ever in a million years expected someone to try this. Honestly, this is shit that you're, you have to like sign a waiver before attempting, you know? As bad as this run felt up to this point, we actually kind of breezed through Haven, which isn't really surprising, but it was still the one moment of relief this run afforded us, so we cherished it. All right. The kaboom grenade gives me hemorrhoids? That's... <laughs> what? Okay, here we go. Atomic mushroom, please. I really hope this makes a noticeable difference in the explosive rate... in the explosion radius. A blast radius. Oh yeah, we also had figured out a sort of janky solution to our flying enemies problem. We simply had to use the jetpack to get so much air that the fuse on the grenade would run out and detonate before it hit the ground. Ugh. Not a convenient solution, but it could get the job done somewhat. District 13, here we go. I just realized I got an A in the- I got an S for time and A in XP. Who'd I forget though? I wonder what group of mo like what mob did I forget there? It's not like our skills are really playing too heavily into what we're going for anyways, so they don't really matter too much. We made it to District 13. A part of me hoped this zone would last an eternity so that I'd never have to face the upcoming boss with this weapon. I hope we can find a fantastic boom grenade when we get to the moon, man. I'm gonna need it. 
Jokes aside, the Kaboom Grenade was becoming a semi-viable weapon at this point in the run. Granted, it took a lot of items and perks to get it this far, but it was still able to clear mobs relatively quickly. Thankfully, in District 13, the adds would be densely packed together, making explosive weapons really strong in those instances. This is true for the moon as well, and if we make it there, I feel I'd have an easy time getting the iris. Increase explosion rate. Yes, black powder, please. I need it. Anything for content, though, am I right? If I do this first try, when I know I could have gotten... 25 subs out of this I'll kind of be sad but at the same time I'll feel really cool I'll be like yeah I'm I'm so good at the game it's gonna do wonders for my ego you know my ego it's gonna it's gonna be through the roof might go treat myself to an Uncrustable as a reward. I actually have not eaten an Uncrustable in so long, but they actually are so good. I, anyone that says they don't like Uncrustables has to be lying. They're so convenient. They're like every child's like dream food. Like, if I was in fourth grade, dude, you could offer me if you offer me a Smucker's Grape Jelly PB&J Uncrustable, that's a Michelin star meal. You know what I mean? take the increased armor. I will definitely take the increased armor here. I am praying for Uncle Jim, man. If this is Beetle Royale, we are going to be in so much pain. Please give me Uncle Jim. Oh, thank God. Now, I still didn't have full confidence in beating Uncle Jim with this grenade, even though he's widely considered to be the easiest boss in the game but I had a plan and prayed that it would work or else we would be in trouble. It seemed to be effective. I wanted to chuck the nade at the wall above his head so I could conveniently and consistently hit him with the nade when their fuse ran out. This certainly wasn't the easiest thing in the world, but the fact this worked was a huge relief. I cannot believe we've made it to the moon first try with the kaboom grenade for us. <laughs> like, what is happening? Hey, Marsenpai, thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. Nutella's great. I love Nutella. A lot of my friends do not like Nutella. I love Nutella. I think it's quite good. Right, I'm going to take the armor buff. Um... I get, here we go! Moon with Kaboom Grenade. Let's see if we can do it. And yeah, we also just have not gotten anything that can apply an element to our Boom Grenade, so chemistry is not even worth here. Honestly, I have a better chance at auto critting. Now, as I expressed earlier, I thought the moon would be pretty easy up until Iris, and while I wasn't clearing the rooms in record pace, I still got past them pretty easily. We're about to fight Iris with Kaboom Grenades. This is a thing that's, like, about to happen. I don't think we're winning, though. I want to state for the record, I do not expect a victory here. This 
I, I this is going to be a miracle if we pull it off. This 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 is a bit much. You know, it's something. It's something. Let me re-roll this just to see what else we can get with this. Shock damage, burn damage. I mean, fragments probably is just the highest damage, right? I'm expect a loss here. I I cannot imagine a world where we win this. I seem to develop the strategy to use for phase one. I couldn't play carelessly though. There was still potential to lose at this stage simply because of how long it would take me to get through it. I had to keep paying attention. Jesus. That took a long time, and we still lost half our HP. Now, we'd get a chunk of that back at the start of phase two, but I was terrified. The confidence I had gathered from my strong start instantly disappeared. I made such a small blunder but lost more than half my HP. The pressure I felt was getting to me and I was now battling my mental state as well as Iris. I had to play perfectly and in the heat of the moment I realized this and was silently trying to steal my nerves in the face of Iris's fury. Oh no! Oh fuck! Oh, my heart is pounding right now, dude. This was soul crushing. All my pain and suffering up to this point had resulted in a rather climactic, but disappointing ending. I was demoralized and didn't know if I had the willpower to try this again.
Now, Chad and I debated if I should upload this, even though it was a failed run. It was entertaining to them after all, but something like that just didn't sit well with me. Fortunately, I had the quitter mentality figuratively beaten out of me when I was playing hockey in my formative years. I didn't even make a sub goal for it. Auto crit, I'll take auto crit, that's fine, I guess. Black powder. An entire weekend had passed since my last attempt, and I was feeling good. I had energy, and I had echoes of the last run still bouncing around in my mind. I could take the lessons I learned then, and apply them to this run now. Now, you may be asking, well, if you learned any lesson at all, why are you still taking recon in? And this is a good question. I wanted to meet the same level of challenge I had last time and overcome it. I had purposely played Recon as a handicap, and even though Commando, Engineer, and Elementalist are the obvious picks because of their explosive and elemental synergies, I think playing Ranger would have been the easiest because Iris would spend the entire fight attacking my clone instead of me, and that's where the real struggle was in that last run. I didn't want the easy path here though. I wanted to kick down the gates that I had fallen at previously and be proud of overcoming the challenge that had bested me. True shot, probably? Probably take true shot there. Oh yeah, now we're cooking. I remember the flashbang bug is amazing. So if you run true strike, sometimes when you apply it to your kaboom grenade and only your kaboom grenade, your whole screen will just get like flashbang. And I swear to God, this is gonna make me get the run done. It's the only thing that can like stimulate my brain while I'm going through this. Now what you just saw me do on that rail is gonna help us tremendously this run. Killing the rovers is a great source of XP, but killing them with a the kaboom grenade just isn't that feasible. However, I could land on the rail and make contact with them, immediately killing them in the process. Having more perk points obviously helps us out in the long run, and I was hoping we could snag more fire rate and explosive improvements along the way. Oh, I'm... Mm, that's tough. That's tough. I'm gonna take big game hunting. We have fragments now. Let's roll. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Taking big game hunter was the smart call. Oh my god, we melted that Goliath. Melted him. <laughs> we melted him in the way that only a kaboom grenade can. <laughs> Shame. These both suck for this. Oh no, these are bad. We'll take Relentless Pursuit. We'll take it, and we'll re-roll it. We had found another blue kaboom grenade, but this one was better because it had a green affix in addition to the blue. We could roll fragment back onto it, but with an added benefit. And while this may seem like a small upgrade, I would argue that any upgrade when using the kaboom grenade is massive. I want fragments with something good. Yeah, that's good. We'll take Nitro. Finding Blast Radius there, the 25% yeah, increased Blast there. Radius, by the way, is insane and will help tremendously with flying enemies in this run. I was elated to find this. The increase to Blast Radius wasn't just good on pen and paper either. I was able to shred through clusters of enemies inside kill rooms, and it was actually feeling, dare I say it, good? Yo, dopamine drop? That was awesome. And uh, I love that this is what my chats devolved to. I'm doing my kaboom grenade only run and my chat is just singing songs.
Let's see here. Oh my god, Diggy Mole is the worst boss for this. I, there is not. That is so bad. Diggy Mole is the worst boss we could have rolled for access to the fields this run. Normally, I wouldn't mind too much because he has a low health pool and gets deleted if you unload into his eyes while he shoots at you. But when running the Kaboom Grenade, having him dig underground and avoid explosions was just an annoying process to deal with. Finish him! Thank you. Oh god. Link explosion marks. We'll take that. Being able to mark enemies is a big deal, and something we were sorely missing in our last attempt. Making enemies take 50% more damage is a game changer, and since I'm blinking around everywhere already to get true shot procced, this would Thanks. fit perfectly in our build. Alright, here we go. Take sandals, maybe? I don't know, man. I mean, dark, if you ever, like, you know... Who knows? We might actually have a better chance at getting this run done if you just, like, gift 25 subs right now. Here we go. Perfect. Perfect. Kaboom cheesing? Yeah. Cheesing. Oh my god, I'm genuinely scared. Oh god, oh Jesus, this is not a good room for me. There's no, like, cover or anything. They can prove critical. Oh no, we have favorite weapon right here. I'll take favorite weapon. All right. Somehow we just S ranked that. How are we still S rank right now? This isn't. This is absurd. I hadn't realized it until this point, but we were S rank even after fields with a kaboom grenade. In the last run, we only got A rank except for District 13. Was I actually going to be able to pull this off? I had low expectations. I mean, the first three stages are always pretty easy to S-rank, but Energy Labs, as per usual, is a good gauge for most things, S-rank potential included. We'd see where we were standing after this level. You're right, you're right, Dark. True. Dude, just let me- thank you! Yes, explosion radius. Yes, 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 yes. I think I'm actually going to take shell here. I will take all the survivability I can get. We were almost past energy labs, but then it dawned on me. What if we don't get Catacoaster? We had a system in place to beat Catacoaster. We just had to wait for the acid to rise, then it would be easy to hit them with our nades. But what if it was Judge Ball? They are always in the air, and we really don't have any map modifications to assist us. We just had to hope and pray that we would get Catacoaster. Come on, dude. No! No! Come on. We were in trouble. It's... it's so bad. I tried to bounce them off the ceiling to time the explosion just right with where Judge Ball is, but that wouldn't work. I couldn't see where they were if I did that strat. So we just tried to get a ton of air with our jetpack and see if he was low enough to the ground for the fuse to run out midair and hit them. Wait a minute. We might be able to get it. We might be able to get this, actually. 
Luckily, it appeared as if we had enough blast radius in our build for us to just throw them on the ground normally. This would not be a possibility if we didn't have blast radius upgrades. There was a light at the end of the tunnel, but it was flickering. Dealing damage to Judge Ball was much less consistent than it was with Catacoaster because of Judge Ball's mobility. Fast paced speed with a change in verticality makes it extremely hard to line up grenades with the position of the boss. This was an iffy strategy at best, but it was the only one that I could see as being viable. What happened to the music? No, 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 no! This was bad. The fight had taken a massive turn for the worse, and Judge Ball still had a way to go before we dropped. My heart sank, but it was a do-or-die moment, and I had to step it up. Oh! Oh! Oh my god! Oh my god, dude. Judge ball down. We had spat in the face of our greatest fear in the entirety of this challenge, aside from Iris. It felt good, but that was way too close of a call for me, and I was feeling a bit shaky afterwards. Thank god Haven was the next location on the list. This is hell. This is what hell's like. Thank god we grabbed Shell, by the way. That is the difference that these items make. That last hit would have ended me if not for the 12% increase to armor. I'm just gonna buy this. No, I'm not. Alright, hopefully we have an easy time in Haven. Uh, we can just kind of relax, get some easy levels, and see if we can get any more like beneficial loot. Do I have banana yet? I don't even have banana this run yet. So if I can get banana, we'll be chilling. More more so than we are right now, anyways. Get him out of there. Goliaths are chumps to the kaboom grenade. Oh my god, we're gonna take No, but you're gonna make me choose between spare head and ugly tie? Um I'll have to take spare head. This was a tough choice. I had to choose between a flat 10% uh, increase to boss to damage or a second wind if I were to be defeated. Hopefully we can get ugly tie again. If I had taken the tie, I would be killing the bosses faster, minimizing my risk of dying in the first place because I would spend less time fighting. But the spare part is just the safer choice, so I took it. Flashbacks of dying to Iris in the last attempt, after getting her health so low too, echoed in my mind and reinforced my belief that I had taken the right item. Okay, yes, finally we're picking up some black powder. I need more black powder. My blast radius is not where I want it to be yet. Bro, am I ever gonna find banana? They're like actively trying to keep me from getting the items that I desperately need. Also, are we still S rank, by the way? How is this even possible? We were doing great. I was feeling good. We lucked out and got some great items in this room as well, but not our fabled banana that would increase the damage we deal with explosions if we only hit a single target with them. This would significantly boost our damage to bosses. Hopefully we could find it before going to the moon. No, no, no. Oh my god, that was close. Increase auto crit chance, yes.
We were cruising through District 13, but I was a little scared for the boss we would face. We could easily deal with Uncle Jim, especially with the strength of our build compared to last time. But what if it was Beetle Royale? We'd be in big trouble, since they're another fast-paced flying boss. Beetle Royale is supposed to be stronger than Judge Ball, so it was very intimidating, but we have a lot more vertical space in that room, so maybe we'd be able to take advantage of that. Still, we could just count our blessings and hope for Uncle Jim. Alright, let's pray for Uncle Jim. I am terrified of Beetle Royale. Absolutely terrified of him. Give me Uncle Jim. God damn. Right. No, dude. Okay, okay. Fuck. Here we go. I think we can still do it. I think we can still do it, just fine. This would be easy. I still had to be careful, obviously, but all this room to move around in the air was something we were missing in the Judge Ball fight. I was pretty confident in my chances of success here. I don't really know what hit us for so much damage there, and that scared me. I've done this fight plenty of times, but I really don't know what hit me so hard. It was bad enough I lost more than half my health, but not knowing the source of the damage put me on edge. Okay. Cone of the moon, and I still do not feel good about this. I am missing crucial items. Well, at least we need a frog. We had blown through the moon with ease. Ad clear wasn't what this build struggled against. It was time for the rematch. I was equally excited as I was afraid. I couldn't bear the thought of coming this far to lose it all over again. We do not have the right items going into this. We do not have the right items. We are missing so many important items for this. Oh God. This was way more damage than last time, and we were going to go into phase 2 with a full health bar. I was liking our odds, but phase 2 can turn the tables on you real quick. Alright, wish me luck. Please god, let me pull this off. Dude, get down here!
We took an unfortunate hit because of the flashbang bug, but it was smooth sailing. I just had to maintain my focus. Come on. Come on. Oh! oh my god, we had the fucking legendary item. We had the legendary item that revives us. We had it. We had it. Oh my god, dude. Oh, <laughs> oh dude. Oh. Fucking A, dude. Oh. It was finally over. After hours oh. of delirium inducing pain and suffering, we had overcome our hardest challenge yet. Bro, I'm fuck I'm dead. I'm gone. I'm gone now. I'm going away. Oh, I dude. really hope you guys enjoyed this video, and for as much as this challenge was painful, and it was equally to fun to do it on stream. And celebrate, and then I'm just gonna like never play video games ever again. The relief yeah, I felt here was just incredible. Oh. All right, it's done. Oh my god, dude. Bing bong. Oh my god, that shit was so stupid. I hate this, dude. Like, why? Why did, did I do it. that? You did it. Oh, all right. Yeah, check how long it was. It wasn't even a long run. And it was still S. <laughs> it was still S3. Yeah, what? I'm just good. All right, fuck this. I'm so. <laughs> oh my god, it was an S rank run too. Fuck, dude. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you made it this far, leave your thoughts on it in the comments below. If you want to support the channel, then please consider leaving a like and subscribing. It helps out the channel greatly, and I really do appreciate it. If you ever want to hang out live, you can check my Twitch in the description as well. All right, you all have a great day. I'm Hatterax, uh, signing off. Peace. To the vegetative state I was in before life began. Send me to the cosmos. Time to never use the kaboom grenade ever again. Oh my god, I cannot believe we just...